Did you know that you don't have to wait for the snow to melt to enjoy spring flowers? Skunk cabbages flower while there's still snow on the ground, which gives them a monopoly on early pollinators and a six-week jump on developing their fruits. Skunk cabbages are uh, a really cool plant because they can generate their own heat, just like a, their metabolic rate is just like a hummingbird. Skunk cabbage flowers regulate their body temperature and protect themselves from freezing by producing extra heat when it's cold, just like a warm-blooded animal. The combination of providing a cozy shelter and looking and smelling like rotting meat attracts spring pollinators like this wasp. As they get bigger, this thing is going to open up and it has a cluster of flowers on the inside that produce this aromatic smell that will attract beetles as pollinators. And what they have to do, though, to get that smell out in the air is to heat it up. At first, only the female parts of the flowers are mature. But a day later, the tightly fused flowers become male and release their pollen. How much heat can skunk cabbages generate? So let's do a simple experiment. And we're going to bury the skunk cabbage in snow. And we'll use a baseball as a control. And we'll see which one melts the snow the fastest. After two hours, there isn't much difference. But a day later, the skunk cabbage has melted a ring around each flower cluster. Once their big green leaves emerge in May, you can easily find skunk cabbages near streams, swamps, or lakes. And next spring, you'll know where to look as they melt their way through the snow.